What's going on YouTube? Ace Strategy Gaming here. Today I'm bringing you guys some Pokemon trading card game online. I figured it's a few days out before the next uh, Sun and Moon set is released and I want to do a little bit of a pack opening for you guys. Uh, you know, showcase some of the new cards before there's even newer cards. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and if I get enough positive response on this video, I'll definitely do a pack opening uh, when the next set comes out in two days, I believe. Um, sorry I haven't been here for a few days. I've been finishing up finals and uh, I was spending some time with my fiance and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, getting some of that adult stuff in. Now I'm done. I'm back to the games, which feels pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to be opening 21 packs of uh, Sun and Moon for you guys. I'm also going to just open real quick one uncommon chest, see if we can grab a rare card. Because um, that does happen sometimes. And um, I'm going to be giving an analysis on, you know, most of the rares that I get, even if they're not like bomb rares like GX or, you know, crazy full arts and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get right into it. So first, let's start with um, the reward chest. Alright, oh hey, it looks like it's gonna be rare, at least. Alright, so, we got Kabutops, nothing too special. Um, hey, I mean, actually, like, 150 HP, stage 1, like... Mm, I could see this possibly being good in a deck where you're controlling your coin flips to do, you know, 140 for 3 on the like a, a Pokemon that's only worth one prize card. I don't know. Could could be all right. All right, let's get started with our first Sun and Moon pack. All right, here we go. Send me some good luck, guys. All right, got the Raticate, which is cool. Oh, two flips. Let's see, first card. All right, we have a Butterfree, which has a Cybolt and Whirlwind, and... Alright, a cold duck. Okay, um... So let's see, so double jet, that's actually really interesting. This could be a really great gold duck to be used with gold duck break if you were going to do a deck like that. So you discard two uh, water energy from your hands, this attack does 60 damage for each card you discard in this way for just one water... So it's basically you could do 120 for one. That's pretty good considering also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but... In the new set, there's a card that specifically um, brings back water energy from your uh, discard pile. So, um, that's actually, that's pretty cool. I mean, not something crazy, no no big GX or anything like that. But, you know what, I could I could see myself trying to make that Gold Duck deck. And let's see the Butterfree. Um, it just has Cybolt, nah, which is lame, and then Whirlwind. Um... God, if that was like, honestly, if that was two colorless instead of three colorless, I could see it maybe being useful, but I just don't, I think that's too expensive, not enough damage in the meta. Um, Alright, let's move right on to our next pack. Opening another. I love the way these new energies look, too. Alright, another two flips, let's see. Alright, foil beware. And we get, our oh, Bruxish, let's see. Alright, uh, so it's got Vivid Charge, which seems okay. Wow, wait a second, actually. And then Psychic Fangs. Yo, this is actually like really, pr like pretty good. This is like the new Articuno, because instead of uh, Search for Ice, it could be any three basic energy cards. I could definitely see this card just being splashed as like a one of or maybe a two of in like a deck with you know two or three different energy requirements that seems pretty good to me and then we have beware which has bear hug and superpower eh definitely nothing too special here especially considering it's a stage one you gotta actually evolve it um but we do see you know a rainbow energy which is always nice Got a adorable Snubble. Man, I love the art on these cards. That's one of my favorite parts of the Pokemon card game. Like, I've always loved this game. This is actually probably my favorite trading card game. So you guys should expect to see a lot of content going forward. Um, as far as, you know, I'll still be doing Duel Links and a few other card games. But you should definitely um, expect to see a lot more of the Pokemon trading card game. Alright. Um, I might do some physical openings too. 
So Passimian, that's a popular deck right now. And let's see what our rare is. Ooh, Cloyster. All right. Not not great luck so far. Let's see if we could turn that around. So let's see. Headlock and Guard Press. Yeah, really nothing special here. I can't really see a use for this at all. Um... But Passimian is a pretty good uncommon to get. Um, it's very popular with the Mew decks and stuff like that right now because of its team play ability, or team play attack, I should say. Let's open another. Down to 17 packs. We still got plenty to go, guys. More of that Snubble. God, I love that Snubble art. What is this? Not seen this trainer card yet. I haven't played this in a while. All right, let's see our rare Parasect. So, flip three coins. If one of them is heads, this attack does... 20 more damage. Two are heads. All of them are heads. This attack. Ooh, that's. I don't think that's really viable, but that's definitely interesting that if you flip the three heads, the attack does base 130 damage. Um, I don't really see that being useful because I don't know of a way to really secure coin flips that intensely, but kind of cool nonetheless. I guess we'll see um, what comes of it, if anything. Probably not. On to the next pack. Aw, oh, Rowlet, my favorite. The new energy looks super dope. We're at candies, and we get another Butterfree. Jeez, bad luck so far. Or maybe not, I don't know. I don't really know the pull rates or anything like that when it comes to the packs. It just seems like every six or seven or so you get something pretty sweet. Claw Rend on this thing. Mm. Nothing super interesting. Okay, let's go right into another one. 15 left. We've gone through. This is going to be our sixth one that we're opening. So should we have some have seeing something good? Oh, I love this art. The foiling on this card is so cute. Treasure hunt. What is that? Oh, that's pretty interesting actually. Oh, Orin Guru. That's nice. That is really nice. Um. So for you guys who don't know, um, the ability Instruct is really popular in like most decks now. I actually don't have any of these guys yet. I haven't really been playing the format much. Um, so once during your turn, you may draw until you have three cards in your hand. So it's great. You know, you, you got your cards out. You're, you feel free to throw down everything you've got and then just, you know, pull those cards right back. You only really need one of these out at once. And um, it's, it's actually not the worst card. Like if it gets actually pulled out into the front lines it's not the worst i mean like if you end up putting any energy on this psychic it's psychic attack is is pretty decent you can do you know i mean you could do over 100 easily for three you know depending on how many energy your opponent has on their pokemon um you know if they're running something fat you could do 140 160 like you could actually end up getting a lot of damage off it's also got 120 hp which is pretty nice um so that's a really good pull Let's open our next pack and see what else we can grab. I wouldn't mind having a second one of those, honestly. Um, so, Cowardice, what's this? Start off. Oh, adorable, just like in the games. Alright, so we've got two here. Foil Cloyster and two Cannon. Alright, so... I actually, I saw this card, and like I know it looks pretty basic, pretty lame, but like, if you can get this rolling early... I mean, for just a, du a double colorless, like, you could be doing 120 a turn, um, which is definitely not bad. So, I don't know. I think maybe if there's a fighting deck that becomes really popular, this could be used. Um, I don't know. But that's that just seems like a pretty good, pretty decent attack to me. I tend to honestly prefer decks that are not full EX, GX. Like, I like doing the evolution decks a lot. So this is a good Eevee to get. Poison Barb is pretty sweet. And what's our rare? Kangaskhan. So let's see. Flip four coins to stack this 50 for each heads. Eh. And if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this does 30 more. So 60 for one. That's... Uh, it's okay. I mean, this is definitely a very situational card. Um, I don't think it's going to see any use, but Palo or Sandy Gast rather is is pretty cool. There's going to be decks around Palo Sand, um, Poison Barb is actually a really cool card. I've, I've made some Poison decks in the past, but this kind of changes the game a little bit. Anyway, let's uh, keep it going. See what we get next. 
I feel like we keep starting with the dark energy here. Alright, so we got a uh, foil Pukumuku, which is pretty sweet. And... Cosmom. Alright. Cosmo, Cosmoim? Is that how you say it? I don't think I've ever said that out loud before. I think I said Cosmom. <laughs> um, Alright, so... I mean, I do need these if I'm gonna ever build, like, the, um... The Solgaleo or whatever. But... Man, let's see some, like, cool GXs or full arts or something. Give me something here. Alright. Got another Pukumuku. Two to flip. Alright, a foil Parasect that we saw before, and... Rubumbi. Um... Hmm. That's actually kind of interesting for Stage 1. I mean, I could see maybe this fitting into a, a Fairy deck. You know, if you got, like, two or three of these on your bench... And then you're like using a Xerneas or something like that. Um, you know, if you could be healing like 60 per turn, your opponent really would have to like knock you out in one hit. You know what this could also be used in? It, um, you could run maybe like two of these in a deck where you're playing either electric or water with the, um, the stadium that can heal them. So you're just getting that constant healing off, make it really difficult for your opponent to knock out your Pokemon. So I'll have to see. I mean, this is not... The only bad thing, I mean, its attack is, is really weak and it's only got 60 health, but that ability might actually prove interesting, especially with, like, Energy Ribbon or... I mean, like, if you could really stack on healing with stuff like that. All right. Let's see what we have next. All right. Got that foil and Rattata looking badass. And Gigalith. Ooh, that's some sweet art. Let's see. It's got any amount of... Uh, fighting energy from the, from your Pokemon. This attack... Oh, not from this Pokemon, just from your Pokemon in general. That's interesting. This attack does 50 damage for each card you discard that way. Okay. I could see this definitely being interesting if there's ever like a Deluge Blastoise equivalent in fighting or something like that where you can really get them out, you know, using fishing rods to get them back and stuff like that. Um... I don't know, I'll have to check this out, because 160 HP is pretty good for a non-GX or EX. Um, it's only 2 energy for that as well. Um, okay, and then we've got some of the new supporters and items and stuff. Alright, we're down to 9 packs after this one. This is our 10th uh, or 11th pack, actually. Let's see what we get. Oh, Lantern. Jeez. Um... Yeah, see, not what I'm looking for here, obviously. We are getting some bad luck thus far. Let's bring it back. These last eight packs are going to be straight fire. All right, two to flip. That's always a good sign. Oh, Sharpedo. And... Beware. Okay, but let's see Sharpedo. So, um, if your active Pokemon... If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon is damaged, so it's got the typical rough skin type thing. Um... Aqua Impact. Hmm. Does not seem that good. But there's definitely cards that can like increase your opponent's retreat cost. So I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe you stack this thing up with like um like a spike balloon or something and do something fishy with that. Get it fishy. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, let's keep opening. Come on. Give us something here. Oh, another Parasect! Come on, get out! We don't want you. Got enough Parasect. I don't even really like that kind of art. Jesus. This fucking Meowth is just laughing at me over here. Ugh. Oh, got a Pokeball. That's cool. Open another. Alright, one to flip. Oh, there we go! Oh, yes! Umbreon GX, that is a sweet, sweet card. Here it is, if you guys have not seen it yet. Got Umbreon GX, 200 HP, a stage one from the Eevee. Um, works really well with the Eevee we got earlier in the pack openings. Um, so it's got Strafe, which is nice if you just needed to get it out of the front. Um, it's got, it's essentially like you're retreating just by putting one energy on it instead of wasting two, which is nice. Uh, Shadow Bullet is okay. Um, you know, you can really start to stack up some damage. Um, you know, especially with the, the 200 health on this thing, it's GX attack, I think, is, is pretty damn good. You've got 
uh, discard two energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Um, just like, not even just their active Pokemon, just their Pokemon in general. So like, if they're kind of falling behind and like really just trying to set up their one like one powerhouse on the bench, you can just shut them out of the game in like one second. Especially, I already run a deck that I call like Dark Disruption that maybe I'll showcase for you guys, where like I focus on dark cards that uh, you know make your opponents discard energy and stuff like that. This is perfect for that kind of uh, that kind of gameplay, especially because it gives you a fat body as well to like put out while you're making them discard and all that stuff. Very cool. All right, let's keep going. I feel a little bit better now that we got a sweet Umbreon GX out of that. Let's see if we can keep getting lucky here with the energy retrieval, which looks interesting now. And all right, Masquerade. Wait a second. Move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon. That's like kind of interesting. If it if it only did more than thirty damage, but like. For one energy, I don't know, like, I feel like if you're playing a really heavy control deck with, like, a lot of disruption and stuff, I don't know, I could see that maybe being part of it, if that's if that's the kind of game you're playing. Which is, the, I like doing that a lot, you know, even when I play Magic, The Gathering, I'm always playing blue and stuff, I like being a dick like that. Alright, two to flip, We've got Oil Hariyama, nice and fat boy. Alright, and Dragonite, wow, that is pretty art, look at that. Giant tail for five colorless. Flip a coin. If Tails' this attack does nothing. Oh man. And discard a uh, grass and a uh... Oh, you know what actually? This could be I know it's two stage twos, but like with the new Vicavolt, where you can get a grass and a, an electric energy from your deck and attach it to your Pokemon. 130 is not bad for two. Like I could see that actually being useful. Um, Giant Tail, maybe in like a coin flip deck, but that's still 5 for 200. That's like a really pricey setup. I know it's like 2 DCE and maybe one other energy, but... Um, and we also got the Dragonair in here. You know what? I'm going to take a look at this afterwards and see if I can figure out some kind of fun deck with that. Let's open another pack here. See what we've got. Nice Sandy Gas and... Crobat. Wow, that's some intense art. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Put three damage counters instead of one. Alright, we've seen that before. Um, if this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 60 more damage. Okay, so if you're playing a deck with a lot of float stones and like zero retreat Pokemon like this one, um, yeah, you know, you could start to grind them down with poison and just start sw keep switching them out. If you had a, just a straight Crobat deck, right, you could just retreat every turn. Like, I would spend one turn maybe poisoning them, and then just like, just keep switching them in and out um, to do 120 each time for just three colorless, which is not too bad. Um, let's keep it going here. Open another. We got two left after this. We're on the final three. Can we get another GX or something like that? Let's see. Okay, Toxapex. Um. Whenever your opponent's active Pokemon retreats, their new active Pokemon is poisoned. Wow! That is interesting, actually. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 50 more damage. Okay, that's eh. That's alright. I could see this more as being definitely support on your bench in a poison deck, but that is really, really good for a poison deck. So we will definitely... I've made poison decks before. We're going to look back at that at some point. Alright, so... Last two packs, come on. Two to flip. Nice Dragonite. Okay, now I really want to make this Dragonite deck. And uh, another Cosmo M. Okay. Last one, guys. Can we get some sick luck on this one? Maybe a full art or something like that. Two to flip. A water bubble. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Dub Trio. There's that active Pokemon retreat cost thing I was talking about. For. Oh, baby! Oh my god, that is such a sweet, sweet pull. Oh man. Mother of God. I guess those Cosmo M paid off because there is a full art Soul Leo GX with the Ultra Road ability. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. That is insane. That is such a good attack, or not a good attack, such a good ability. It's like, um, 
you know, bust in or whatever um, where you can switch it. But it's any of your bench Pokemon with your active. Sunsteel, uh, Sunsteel Strike is incredible. I mean, 230 damage. You're going to knock out just about anything except for this guy with it. I know you have to discard, but that's not that big of a deal. And then the the real crowning point of this card is Soul Burst GX. Search your deck for up to five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. That is so... And for just one Steel Energy, that is so worthy of being a GX move. I mean, that's feels so broken. You can literally set up your entire board with just that. Wow, what a pull to end it off, guys. We just got such great stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. Um, if you want to see more Pokemon content and other, other games in the future, please subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Twitter down below where I tweet out all my videos as well. That's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Really slow start, but we did end up getting... Uh, a few a few decent pulls and two really really amazing pulls so that's gonna be it for this episode of the Pokemon trading card game online and I will catch you guys next time